Good morning and welcome to the demo for the online job application for jobstreet.com. The first thing that you need to do is to click on the sign up button just on the upper right corner of the page. So what you just need to do is to fill up the information on the text boxes that you will be seeing on the sign up page. Put in your password, do not forget. And then click on sign up. Upon clicking on, si on sign up, there will be two options that you will need to pick. First, you could click if you have work experience or if you are a fresh graduate. So most likely, most of you are fresh graduates. So what we're going to do is going to be picking I am a student or a fresh graduate. After that, pick on the state first. And I'm going to be picking Central Luzon. And you need to pick at least three preferred locations for your work. So I'll go with Central Luzon. Let's say I'll go with Calabarzon. Or let's say I'll, I'll go ahead and pick on Dabao. So you could add just one. Or you could at least just pick one for the preferred work locations. Also include adding in your specialization. So let's say for example, I'll be putting in, for me, information technology. And then, let's set our expected salary, which is on the Philippine peso. And you could enter a specific amount. So let's say I'm going to be putting in 15,000 pesos. Click on next. So after this, you just need to fill up some information on your profile. Pick on the degree that you have. And pick on the date that you will be graduating. Okay, so after that, what you just need to do is click on next. On the last part, what you just need to do is to fill up information if you do have work experience. But if not, just put in your phone number on the lower left part of the registration and then click on complete. So after clicking complete, you can now try and find your job that you want. But be sure to check on your profile first. So what we're gonna do is gonna be clicking on update your profile. So as you can see, there's a lot of information that you could be able to fill up regarding your education, your skills, the languages that you do use, or any experience that you do you may have that you could be included on your resume. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uploading a resume for our profile. And this is one of the most important part. Let's go and click upload resume. And then click on upload now. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be browsing in the resume that we will be using. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to upload the resume that I will be using. Just be sure to locate the file properly. I now have my resume here and I will just need to up click upload so that I could be able to upload my resume. Okay, and that's it. So what I just need to do is to click on close the window. So as you can see, I have already uploaded my resume. What you just need to do is to click on view my profile so that you could be able to see what is included on your profile as people view your information. So let's go ahead and search for jobs. So you can specifically type in a specific job title, specific location, or any specialization that you do want to filter. So right now, what we're doing is we're having all the job specializations in our search. So let's go ahead and click on Computer and Information Technology. And then click on search. As you can see, there is a lot of information here that you could be able to apply for. What you just need to do is click on one and then read the qualifications that they do need for the job. If you are interested, what you just need to do is to click on apply now.
Okay, so what as you can see, you will need to validate your Gmail to be able to enter this process. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my email and then validate this. I'm gonna go and reload and there we go okay so right now since I was able to complete my information and my resume I could immediately just type in any pitch that I do want and then submit it for now as a sample I'm just gonna be typing in some words then I can submit the application there you go as you can see I have successfully submitted my application and I just need to wait for any notification on my email or my phone number if they are interested in my application and that's it